Hey there guys, welcome in. And uh, yeah, thanks for the follow for gathers and uh, while I was away, thanks for the follow Valdi Little in Micro 8 bit. Followed probably yesterday when I was uh, in the Westman Islands rescuing uh, Puffins from their own desire to fly into the light. I think it's with the baby puffins is that uh, they uh, don't really grow up on the uh, on the main island where the uh, town is, but uh, on the islands surrounding it. Is it popping? Is it loud or? How is it now? Better now. I, uh, they uh, live on the surrounding islands, and uh, when their babies like this, they uh, they fly away. Uh, they come towards the light in the in the little town, and uh, and they get stuck in town because uh, they can't find their way back. Uh, they need to be able to need to be in the ocean, and they need to be able to see where they're going, so they can uh, slowly swim their way back. Uh, they can barely take flight. Especially not from uh, ground level, so they need to be in the ocean, and the uh, danger is that they end up in the harbor, uh, and they uh, and they get oil in the wings, and uh, then they can't even hover around. So uh, the inhabitants of the uh, of the town, of the Westman Island town, they uh, they chase them around and uh, catch them, uh, store them overnight while it's dark, and then they take them somewhere uh, up into the cliffs or to the beach. Uh, when it's bright and uh, they release them, so they go back to their regular habitat. Uh, this is a yearly event and this is about the time of year where this uh, starts happening. Getting darker and darker outside. Uh, uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, my wife is uh, from the Westman Islands and uh, we took the boys over on uh, on Friday morning and uh, we just got back and uh, let me show you just a short clip from our stay there. Yeah, the four-year-old uh, isn't quite as happy about it as the uh, the six-year-old. The six-year-old got to go and uh, pick them up during the night and brought them home in boxes. Uh, we stored them in the garage overnight and uh, made a few breathing holes and uh, stored them in the garage. But the, uh, they bite or they nibble really. They're not really strong enough to really bite you. And uh, they, uh, if you aren't careful and you if you aren't quick, they uh, they they tend to. Yeah, they bite a bit. It's not. Uh, they don't really bite hard enough to uh, so that it hurts a lot. But uh, uh, that's my four-year-old, the Latin Blue. Uh, 
it wasn't quite as big of a fan as the as the red one, which is the six year old, which was uh, he had actually gotten pretty good at releasing them, and uh, he did a pretty good job. Uh, I was uh, I was filming the video while I was holding the two year old, so uh, I've shot better videos, but uh, it was a lot of fun. We'll definitely go next year. This is uh, probably best not to go during the weekend. There are so many people there during the weekend. Yeah, uh, chasing seagulls is, uh, yeah, we do try to do something with these guys. Uh, we're very tired today, it's a, it's a lot to uh, run to the Westman Diamond. Uh, 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 he's up, 11 months now. It's uh, probably the longest ongoing streak. Evening. Welcome in. Did you catch the video? I was uh, showing the guys a video from, uh, we went to Bushman Islands this weekend to uh, hunt and release puffins, baby puffins. It was uh, a lot of fun. Probably uh, I'll make a clip out of it and I'll post it. Yeah, I'll make a clip and I'll, I'll post it. You can, uh, you can watch it. It's a, it's a short clip, it was only around two minutes, uh, just of my boys releasing the puffins. Uh, jump into the game it was just a um, to go over the map figure out exactly where we are in the game at this present moment in time we've uh, we got a lot accomplished last stream we managed to finish two separate dungeons although it uh, took a while just uh, sort of contemplating where to go next at this point. I think uh, I marked all the spots in uh, blue, the ones that we couldn't access. Yeah, uh, Tech Nerd and uh, Game Nerd, new Debian release, Seltum Saturday. Debian isn't going anywhere. Seltum Saturday is a, a once in a week opportunity. I think we'll, uh, I think we parked in River City. Might head to these towers and uh, see if we've gained what is needed to access them. I'll check the, check the inventory here a bit. do have now the enchanted key to the Tower of High Magic. Um, that's interesting because uh, that is right here. This is the Tower of High Magic. I don't know if you can uh, properly see that or not. Zoom in a little bit, that's the Tower of High Magic. So, let's go there. Try not to get killed. What are we doing in uh, before we leave town? How are we doing in terms of items? A little bit of a fix me upper here. I don't know why I didn't uh, just. Uh, why I didn't go to uh, Newcastle, why I went back here, because of habit, I guess. If I remember correctly, we actually uh, back during, during the battle with the golems to fix up our items, so we aren't too badly off at the moment. We gained very little in the way of items while we were there, actually. Certainly not a lot of riches. 
the just the videos and battles. We probably will visit the castle though. See if we can uh, see if we can train. At some point we gained the free level, so we are already level 16. Which means that uh, technically we should probably be able to train then for level 17 if we gained enough experience. The castle is very close to River City, so uh, basically. You say about the dungeon. Advisor after this. Okay. I think we just didn't we just talk to that guy. I have a feeling we just talked to that guy. We uh, we were just there. Ah yes, he's that guy. So okay, we basically need to rescue that guy. That's uh, that's somewhere in the volcano area. Yeah, cave up on the. Volcano area. Really sure we couldn't actually hear us. Might have tuned the game audio way down here, probably a little bit too much. off not all of them by a lot but uh certainly some i remember uh how that you say it goes to free croto return to artemis we haven't found this croto guy yet I guess he could be in the uh, Tower of High Magic, where we're going anyway. Try to take these dungeons one at a time. Certainly not all as difficult. Actually, just east of here. Tony was still not hearing anything on the game audio. Double check the connections here, play back.
at least have an explanation. It's the end of the cable there. Guess I need a new one. Not doing too hot. On keyboard. Tower of High Magic Level 1, okay. Yeah, I don't need to emulate my arms. My ones, the ones I already have work fine. Would you like that joke? Teleport of some sort over there. Another one over here. Ouch. Really hurt. Electric brew, do you think there's a decent chance that it uh, increase our resistance to electricity? It's actually pretty poor at this point in time. 29, 17, 5, Zero and nineteen. Probably the archer. Or the sorcerer. Plus ten. We'll take that. Thought would potentially be interesting. The people behind it are uh, perhaps a little scrupulous. We have here. A cold brew. Assume its resistance to cold. We currently have ten, seven, two, and twenty-five and seven. So it's the ranger gets this one. Oh, there's a lot of them haven't really done a lot of work in the distance department this is full of traps at least it's lit though fire brew 25, 7, 32, 24, 9, and 7. All of them done. Weird empty chest. Guess we do need to go back into the main hallway.
There's a chest. Built with feet. Three feet high. step into these teleport squares just yet. I have no idea where they take us. Once. Second floor. Mad house. Feet are largely harmless. These, however, are not. Continues upwards of the towards the third floor. Jump over the teleport. The box. Pandorian box. Again. About a meter high. Foot or so. WH the load really needs is a uh, weapon sort of be easily achieved if you just uh, find, talk to the right people. A uh, preloaded set that has all the games ready to go. Really what people want. Parking bin. And hey there, Ava, welcome in as well. Poison brew here. Doom. Distance to poison. Uh, the Rangers time again. What's this brew? Cold brew, another cold brew. Okay. What? Ten. Seven. Twelve. And seven. Aladdin is really the one that is poorest of the ones in front we have a new enemy sorcerer of gold and uh, quite a few gems as well. Electric brew, electric resistance 29.
fucking team. You understand, Ranger? This fire brew. This is to fire. But Also need a bigger dose. He also has quite a few less hit points than the rest of them. That is out as well. Come on, guys. So. Really. Welcome in. Thanks for shouting out please sir, Eva. Definitely go give him a follow. He was with Mighty Magic and uh, I saw you, uh, I think I saw you playing... Uh, what were you playing? Diablo? Popped in for like a minute. Yeah, yeah. Need to do something with the shout outs. You know, other people do this, I like it quite a bit. Not fully decided yet on whether I will keep the sound on. It can be, uh, be a little bit dangerous when you're playing sound from another stream. As most of the people we shout out in here are very decent people, I'm not terribly worried about it, but uh, there's the off chance that that is going on. Honestly, at this point, it's sort of hard to keep track of all of the possible ways that uh, you could emulate or, or simulate an Amiga. Twenty, poison seventeen, poison twelve, poison twenty, zero. Try to spread these around as evenly as we can. I think it's sort of hard to get around these things. Can be can really be pretty weird. Let's try whether we can teleport here. Can too far though. Did we find roll of implosion? Okay, nice. Thanks for shouting out 48k Ram, you should definitely be following him as well. Interesting Atari stuff. Most of the 8 bit Atari stuff. Something that uh relatively unfamiliar with, but uh, it's 
pretty cool. That's actually pretty tough. Tough. We weren't doing too hot either. that that was luck let's uh martin can save here before we end up dead end up having to do all of this again Prices are good. Okay, this is the magic brew, which means that it's resistance to magic. Twenty twelve. Twenty. Go. Five. Seven. Zero seems bad. That would be pretty cool. How the 8 bits were very powerful. Just only on par with any other 8 bit system. Hey there, Will. Thanks for redeeming 8 bit with you for one minute. Since we were discussing the 8 bits. Yeah, we are. You know, I think. Yeah, I got shamed for not using the doggy treats. So, uh, definitely using them now. Uh, welcome back to streaming, well. It's your streams. Probably going to die here. Let's uh, try to die with some dignity. No, actually, we didn't die. Yeah, it just uh, takes a random clip. Does try to take a recent one, so uh, it assumes that you have recent clips. Uh, no one clipping in your channel, you probably be doing it yourself. But that resistance to electricity. Who's doing very poorly there? Beef is. Everybody's in here. I'm uh, no one objects. I'm go I think I'll do another run of a puffin video. Uh, quite a few of the people that are in here now missed it earlier. Uh, went to the Westmont Islands this uh, this uh, yesterday and uh, late until today, uh, running after the baby puffins that get lost during this time of year. They wander into the town where they see the lights and. Uh, and they can't find their way back, so you have to catch them, store them overnight, and then release them in the morning so they can find their way. Uh, show it again, it's pretty short.
yeah, the four-year-old was known to please. The, they nibble a lot. The, they fight a lot. They don't really, uh, they don't really realize that you're trying to save them from their own impending doom. Uh, they don't really bite all that hard. They can't really break the skin, but uh, they do nibble a lot. It uh, does hurt a little. Uh, yeah, I made a, a quick edit of it today. Uh, a lot of fun. And you could see the uh, the guy in red, that's my six-year-old Chrisman, he had a lot of fun. Uh, the four-year-old in blue, much, not quite as much fun. A little bit too young still. Next year he will be... Uh, a year is a, is a major difference in this. I was trying to film the video while I was holding the two-year-old, which is uh, more difficult than it sounds. But, uh, if you let go of him, you will just uh, basically run into the ocean. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. It really is fun. Good to uh, particularly nice for the kids. Enjoy it. Uh, trying to do things with the kids. That's all fine and dandy, but uh, so much more fun if the kids actually get some enjoyment out of it as well. Okay, now we have to. Same situation as before, we can't need to teleport through the wall here. Grand Prix Racer, with all the horsepower you can handle. Maybe even a little too much. Thanks for the 48 bits, 48 k RAM. Yeah, you're welcome for the AK Ram. Thanks for coming, man. Have a great rest of the night. These towers are all a little bit weird. How am I supposed to get around this one? I'm just supposed to... Yes, how many squares I need to teleport. reason the teleport didn't grab me, maybe because I teleported right into it. <laughs> or is it just fake? Are all of them fake? It could be. I'm trying to get around them. Is the game just toying with us? What a goal. That is so typical of this game. I've been uh, walking on eggshells around these. Uh, all of these. Uh, Pose it teleports and uh, they really aren't teleports, they do nothing at all. <laughs> Spell two spells to learn here. If before opening something called Mysteries of Light. Smartic light. Okay. 
What's the other one? The Art of Magic. That's the digitization. Guess we'll never know. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what will happen. I will uh, now I will step into all of them, feeling completely safe, and at some point I will step into one that will take me just in front of something that will instantly kill me. That's exactly what will happen. Uh, sorcerer is standing there behind us. What? Anna. Really, what did the spaghetti say to the other spaghetti? A pasta la vita, baby. An Arnold kind of joke. Pasta la vista, baby. found something called the skeleton key to Darsox Tower. So we can access the Darsox Tower. How many floors are in this thing? your feet up they said I guess this is what they meant This fight, let's add into a little bit of shelter here and try to regain. Yeah, you wouldn't like it any other way, Will. This stream is about. Where on earth are we? Perhaps that's a dumb question because we're probably not on Earth at all. But is this place is probably a this the part where we try to levitate? Seems, seems like a smart idea. Just all off. Okay, so we can, yeah, we can access the uh, cloudy sections. Uh, we can't tap into the. Uh,
Cloud to see. Right. Let us levitate. Shocking. Just one jump, one levitating. Not a question. Try anyway. Fall into the trap, and uh, then eventually you have to rest. And, uh, game hopes that you forget to levitate, so you end up in deep trouble. It's a drum. Ring bell for assistance. Gems lying around. All right, I'll take that. Did I step off or step off or did I uh, levitate spell run out? Either or proposition. Don't save without having the spell activated. That's a dumb idea. Yeah, things you don't often hear in real life, but you just hate it when your levitate spell stops working at the right at the wrong time. Gems this time around. No idea why. Yeah, it's sort of hard to wrap your head around it. Fine. Traps are a major nuisance game. ABC really likes those uh, dumb traps. They use them in all of the games, but nothing but a nuisance. They don't really hinder you in any way, they're just there to be annoying. Pretty sure we can jump this. Guardian Leviosa.
cloud column. Ain't that nice? Is this will be safe? Probably is. Statuary. It says the base of the statue reads Fire Mortal Raise your castle walls. Next one opens Columns Halls. That's a cryptic puzzle. We have a red one. Actually, a pretty substantial area. Seemed relatively small, but uh, it's really not. Another of these cloud column guys. doesn't like the incinerate though and uh, although it's relatively expensive we'll waste some on the guy from here we'll bang the drums to say as it is the base of the statue reads highest magic whole solution The game isn't yeah, okay, it, it is taking those hints. Yeah. Fine. Hey there bloody cactus, welcome in. Well, the clouds. Back to run into Amazon any moment now. More gems. We really 
find our way back for a bit. Build. I have to go back and uh, rest. Where we had back out here again. Find where we came from. The little bit that we used to jump between here. That again. Really bit forward. Find ourselves on solid ground so we can rest. Save as well. And cast a levitate spell again. You are exploring this weird little place. Continue in this direction. It's basically where we were. I don't think we can go any further south. I think that's basically it. any further east towards either I think we have to go west now we can't go west here life is peaceful there of these bottom things in front of us here Pretty sure these items that we're finding are decently useful. This statue say there's secret room in the tower trio holds the lands past overseer. Hints being dropped here. Do have to go back though. We don't know another way at the moment. Back this way. Try tackling it from the other direction if we can. I mean, we can probably eat halfway. Way of getting there, but uh, perhaps we could use the teleport spell. Four squares forward and.
this is really our first time in the clouds these guys in a single file old ray has one obvious advantage and it uh, travels through the monster in front so uh, if you cast it there's another monster standing behind also get hit on his last legs taken down like this another of these guys Quite a few of these guys here. This seems to be pretty much the biggest individual one. There's a way for us to jump over here. As rain stops today, whose company sees a cloud? <laughs> Pretty good. the last person that wouldn't uh, encourage a good dad joke just uh, a given just with all of you guys
We're gonna have to take this guy down and then we're going to head to try to head back. Really have enough bad points in it, fighting both these guys. Miscalculated the was, uh, <laughs> was two squares and not one. Uh, travel upwards again, not to really take us that long. Type of these endless traps. Teleports that are not, in fact, teleports. Just with all these traps here. up here yeah I guess we could uh, do that our way back to the clouds not the worst idea I've heard. That's the beacon here. Definitely not a good idea to cast it. In the clouds themselves. Accidentally support ourselves mid air, probably a bad idea. Six, right? Not really these guys that uh, do the most damage is the endless traps. I'll switch to a cheaper spell. to take these guys down using less gems won't run out Let's go 
message at the base of the statue reads, No evil wizard has been beat, you can't get, not yet Lord seen defeat. No, you can't. I think we've been to this side. We have okay. reached the circle here. I will do most of this now. Let's go here and here. I haven't been to this bit. been down there though. Actually didn't mean to do that, that hurt by the bit. I win a prize on the control of the camera for uh, tapping out into the clouds without the levitate spell on. If there is a prize, what is it? <coughs> yeah, they uh, sort of look how I feel. This bit it seems. We've done all of this and uh, I think we've gone a full circle in this place. I do try my best. Thanks, Bucket Bin. <coughs> the game will work here. Five more will raise your castle's walls. Taxman opens Gollum's halls. Highest magic hold solution. Touch your stark convolution. A secret room in Tower Drear holds the last, last overseer. The evil wizard has been beat. You can't yet lord seek defeat. That's what we gained going through this. The walk back. Uh, be sure to map the last of the teleport squares. Let's 
sort of both on the control of the game mode. Yeah, getting out of this place. Back to the map. This is done. We gained an item in there. Skeleton key to Tarsok's tower. That's where we're heading next. It next. We we'll need to rescue this Tarshok guy to be able to build the dungeon as a head home, I guess, to Newcastle. And, uh, it is very funny that we built a castle and it's called Newcastle. It's in fact a new castle. Hey, punny, the game. A level like it. Yeah, we're not uh, there isn't a lot left of game number four. There is some left. Uh, Is he not wearing any of his weapons? Find the fact that the game unequips your weapons when you repair them to be rather stupid to say. Why would it do that? Saber here. I think we kept that on purpose. Didn't want to sell it. Oh, long bow here. Give it. Right. Uh, 
move this instead. Good idea too. Yeah, we already have this link. Most of them already have a bow. Probably won't be able to equip it here. Yeah, either. He already has a bow. Nice to be able to shoot from range when you can. Third common weapon, pellet, what's this? What do we have? A golden cloak and some gold gauntlets as well. Oh, just here the gauntlets. Move the steel ones. Equip the golden cloak as well. For us in terms of armor class. Ah, uh, 36. The cloak. Where are we then? 43 plus 6 Fix this stuff Here to compare Weapons are broken from fighting the, the golems. Go ones. What? Just to give resistance to cold. The cloak is what? Plus four. Change them. A sorcerer, he's not particularly hard to act, but we fixed everybody, apparently fix her. Cloak is a slightly better one. She has what 33 now. The cape with the cloak instead. Where are we? Four, maybe. No, okay. Not. Another one. Pass the cloak along anyway. Only overall in terms of armor class. to 27 that's a lot better uh, 
have a pair of steel gauntlets. Pass them down to the thief as well. Thirty-two now. I think she was at thirteen, which is by far the lowest. Decently good shield. A better one than the one that the Paladin actually has. And equip his one. The Amber one over. That. Yeah, we are. Uh, we sort of need to focus time on this on a fairly regular basis. Usually, when you completed a when I've completed a dungeon, I will do a round and see what I can improve upon. Often makes a difference. Equip this weapon before we continue our better weapon. Don't really need the uh, other thievery, we're already at something like 76%. It's actually fairly rare that we have any problem opening anything. Not really something we need. I like to uh, keep these miscellaneous magical items about uh, never know you end up in a situation where all of your spellcasters are out when it's a good idea to have something on you that enables you to cast a spell Of the nastiest creatures in the game also have a bit of healing all of your spell points. I think actually our we're looking for is the one that's in the middle of the ocean here. As these spells. Actually, this one. I'm oh, sorry about the lack of a digital sound. It seems that my cord broke in two. I need a longer one. Get one. We had eat earlier, this is the carnage hand. And the hand I said. A feeling of deja vu here.
about a thousand gold and uh, lots of armor. Wall, or in the grate rather. Just there. Case to second floor. Finish the first floor first. Yeah, you also have to saddle all of the stuff they make you pick up. Uh, personally, degrees of quality and some of the stuff that you find. Sometimes they are uh, valuable items, but most of the time they are fairly low quality affairs. Get rid of them to get free of some space in the backpacks. Uh, Inventory management in this game is uh, certainly quite a lot better than it was in game number three. Far more space. These towers almost seem like bonus levels at uh, some points. All that difficult. Not easy perhaps, but uh, they're not terribly difficult either. Mostly gaining really valuable things. Did the wizard marry his school friend? Yeah, good night, Retro Potter. Thanks for coming in. Was eventually a uh, teleport, was actually a teleport. Happened at some point. This one was Where are we? Okay. Here we are. That green little square right in front of us is actually a teleport. Not fake. Why is it that we have no Points lost. Yeah, thanks for shutting out Russia Ponta. I'm streaming here on Twitch. There's a lot of uh, arcade games and high score challenges. Quite fun to watch. Oh. Is this a teleport square? Or is it not? Is Fine game will be like this. Okay. Jump over this bit. This bit as well. What's this? Book of speed, I say. Okay. Huge, huge boost. Just double checking whether it was a teleport square or not. Sort of have to be sure.
So plus 20 in speed. One minute. So speed. We're all 50 equal in terms of speed. Speed control gets to go first in battle a lot. Currently at the ranger. Goes to the knight. I think him very quick on his feet. Up to the hand, they said. work I think really to see here can we jump from this direction no okay. I think we can't jump over that one up here look of personality let's assume that that gives us plus 20 in terms of personality either the cleric who's already at 51 or the paladin who's at 36 probably the cleric Approach it from the other direction, see what this is. This is plus 20 endurance. A lot of added endurance. Give it to the Paladin. Really sure that the Knight will always have slightly higher hit point ratio. The fact that uh, be naturally stronger in that regard. This is pretty difficult to navigate. Book of dad jokes. I think with dad jokes and parties is that uh, once people have gotten to a certain level of intoxication, those jokes start to get pretty funny. Same with uh, if people are very tired, uh, dad jokes become funnier. The book of intellect. Always give that the sorcerer plus 20 boost in intellect. Uh, fun. <laughs> Very hard to get there. Lots of hoops to jump through. The book of might plus 20 boost in might. Uh, give it to the knight that will bring him up to 84 uh, quite a bit
think there are actually the consecutive teleport squares there. Jump over this one. Hold the death over. Major best job when he didn't sleep for three days. Everybody laughed, but they didn't sleep for three days either. Pleasant dreams. That scene. That when we fall into these uh, traps, we all of our spell points as well. Way to toy with us. Question is, do we need to approach this from the other side? We do, potentially we need to go here and go forward four squares, five squares, at least four. K gold for jumping through these hoops. Left the book there. Yeah. Book of accuracy. Give that to me. Light. Well, got the ranger up to something like 50. Uh, leaves this little area over here. Their way upstairs. I was worried about spending too much money on a reverb camera for my car, but I honestly haven't looked back, back since. <laughs> Welcome in, one man conquer. I like how this is uh, turning into a collection of people who like dad jokes. Who's this guy? Rassok clone. Uh, yeah, you realize that Michael Jackson had a song about the clones. You are not a clone. I am here with you. At least think that I was thinking about. Safe here, things are getting little perilous.
It does indeed. We should have that jokes. Tough break. The chest. Took the chest to the chest. Now she's dead. Yeah, I think you'll find that it's a decent degree of correlation between uh, people who like these games and people who like that jokes. The little crowd. Is there more, one more of these guys? I think there was, yeah. There he is. I guess he isn't coming for us just yet. Okay, just won't bother with a chest, it's not a run of bad luck, just a chest that kills you, not open it then. Pretty good with the bows. Fire. This is not the same guy at all. This is the head honcho. In business. Take care of the other two first and rest. Uh, let's cast at least a day of protection before moving onwards with this guy he seems pretty nasty the same michael jackson song though it's just with a slightly different lyrics you are not a stone i am here with you Okay, we save. Then we cast a day of protection. Yeah, I actually think he doesn't have any staffs to sell us. I think he's understaffed. Have an inferno acid piece of shit and have when we give you here something nice. Was use a stone to flash and. Probably that we cast here. That's likely to cause some serious damage to this guy. This Fix this situation a little bit here. There goes Tarsok. At him anyway. It's another chest that we can't open. The kill chest doesn't kill us, there's nothing in it. Uh, 
head to the fourth floor of this mess. What does the button do? What did the uh, ocean say to the shore? Nothing, it just waved. A hilarious joke. Is this button actually supposed to do anything? I've out of seven, why? <laughs> this wasn't here before. Another killer chest here. No, oh, this time it has golden gems. What this game does to you. Try it two times, it kills you both times, then you figure it's all fake. And of course it isn't. Bunch of hand me downs. Back down here in another section of the level 3, that's Kroto the Overseer. Thank you for rescuing me from Tasha's clutches. I didn't know that someone else had received my message. Seen's hideout is just above us in the clouds. You will need the sword the adventures working on in the dungeon of Newcastle to defeat Lord Seen. You must make haste. Seen plans to summon an army from the dark side to conquer our world. Million experience points. And there you see an older opal letter hanging above the rusty cage. Why bit? Yes. Let us.
subway with some letters. Ink. Smart thing to do now. Or we can do something that we definitely can't win. Ooh. Go back. To the castle. Take a little trip. Meet with the King's Advisor. Get our permit to paint it our dungeon. Get his sword. I have other things to do perhaps before attempting that. This castle burlock. These towers didn't take nearly as long as I figured they would. Right, I could do a little bit more tonight. Okay, on time. Good, you found Kroto, and I understand your plan. Here is a permit to construct a dungeon at Newcastle. Excavation permit. Excavate we shall. The building guy, the master builder, is here. Five mega credits, yes. Thanks, we'll have the work done by the time we get back to the site. What to do with the rest of the mega credits? Can't even sell them. Can trade them in for the next Might and Magic game. Sort of being lazy and uh, not using the walk on water spell, it's a. Uh, not that long of a walk to just go this way. Congratulations on your purchase of your very own dungeon. Actually, we just cleared out the stuff that was blocking the passage, but don't worry. Former occupants of the castle had impeccable taste. Sure they did. Be sure they did. What is the password they say? There at some point a mention of a password to get in there. Probably not. We have to have some things to finish on the map as well. Don't get. Probably won't get the password until we complete the rest as we weren't going to go fight the scene anyway at this point because uh, we're still, still behind on uh, things to do in the game and train. Good job. 
Okay, Eva, thanks for coming in and moderating the mod with the most Eva Glampire. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a wonderful night's rest. Find some items here. Shit. It find an amber splint mail that seems to be worth quite a bit. Worth quite a bit. And we actually get it. He can't. And he this current one. X. Weapons are okay, armor is definitely not. He's wearing something called a seething splint mail, which is probably not really as good, but it does give a plus 20 resistance to fire. What's the amber one do? Plus 10, but no resistance to fire. Keep it around. What the hell? We actually haven't found many of them in the game. In England, there is was a tradition of Englishmen, Scotsmen, and Irishmen jokes where the Irishman always turns out to be the victim of the joke. Yeah, the. Uh, theme in many cultures, various things. A long running joke here to make fun of people who are born in a town here called Hapnagerur. Call it Hapnagerur jokes. Really the part of the joke is that the people that are born there are stupid, but no, that's not the case. I have no idea why this is done. Probably done all over the world and uh, probably in uh, for various different things. It finds some seriously expensive armor here. Huge bonus. Uh, it's also silly expensive. It's a plus four and uh, better than the current one that we currently have, but also many times the price. Yeah, good night, Will. Thanks for coming, man. Nice to see you streaming again. Thirty-three. 
better weapon. Better shield, rather. Keep this rupee plate armor around. Uh, possible that we might be able to use it at some point. Very expensive. Also means that it uh, also sadly means that it's very expensive to fix. It's mostly my concern. We aren't making a lot of gold in this game. Right, we're making very little way of gold. Can't really afford to uh, wearing really expensive armor. That costs an arm and a leg to repair, since we have to repair it very often. But there was the tavern again. Yeah, I want it as well. How do you make a cloak out of something that is hard as a rupee? Not to say that you don't, but uh, what's the tavern? This is the tank pole. Was a tavern, right? Here. Well, this is the bank. Le bank. This was the temple, right? Maybe there is a tavern. Here, right? Checked all of the places now. Nothing here. Not for now. I don't know these places. Head to River City and uh, visit the tavern there. Should stock up on food. We have like five days. Probably rest these guys are tired from running around. Depressed even. Mitty. The tavern. That's the bank. Street fighting. Twenty days worth of food. Hundred and seventy-five a gold. That let us not eat let us. We did Tarsok's tower. That off. Leaves the park stone tower. This little dungeon over there. Um. See what we can do about that. Thank you. 
start with the tower over the ice block. That's actually pretty close to where we are. Not have the proper stone to enter this one yet. It's missing that. I unlock with the mansion here on the other side. Was it again? Here it is. We have the key for this one at this point. Okay. Okay, we're not in the right place. The ancient temple of Yak is what we're looking for. Not higher up in the map. There it is. We weren't able to gain access to it the last time I checked, but we might be able to do now. Boom. Still not. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Remember now that you say it. A free fruit from the barrel. It's our next avenue of exploration is that add to the fiery bits of the level. Might be. It's been a while since we were here. first and see how badly we do at this point we can take a few doing better at least exploring this area because we are basically uh, killing ourselves the endless fire here Doing better The finished off a decent percentage of uh, monsters here. Certainly not all of them though.
was a near impossible to map without being able to uh, step into the lava at least a few times. Gave up. Yeah, it might be. Might be. We're no big rush to get there, though. We have stuff to finish. Including this. square left there Enormously useful to have the permanent wizard's eye doing something like this. Now oh, there is a uh, there is some stuff left here in the uh, in the middle of this mess. We need to clear out. Remember, if we already tried accessing this little cavern here, this is Dragon Cave. It's time to try to tackle this. tax 2,000 gold pieces and 20 gems fly from your packs and into the urn. Getting inside the urn, you see that your money has vanished. Well, that's a good question because uh, these are actually two different games. World of Scene is both Might and Magic 4 and 5. I've they were about two-thirds done with uh, game number four. Which leaves game number five and the bits that were only accessible by finishing both of them. Going to be a lot of taxing involved here. We're going to be taxed twice. Yeah. Nasty piece of work. I figured that was the case.
going to have to pay the tax a few times, but uh, certainly not going to pay for it more often than I need to. where we came in the piece of work here It's almost safe to assume we're not supposed to be here quite yet. We can gain entrance, but uh, probably a bit off from being able to fight all of these guys. get past this without paying the tax and just head back for now at least we know what we're in for here a lot of pain and suffering probably based on previous games a lot of gold and gems as well We do have to be a bit stronger. It's a bit too much. The fine line between uh, not having to rest too often and uh, killing the members of the party, which is a bad idea. is exploring this mess though. a little slow but um get there
somewhere in the middle of this lava mass here. Power. See the cave there. this mess safety we have quite a bit of mapping to do takes a while spot here in the middle of the lava Far, I think we're going to die here. Oh, somehow miraculously escaped. Oh, don't have any magical casters alive. I don't think I can actually any item have any item to use. points doing great can't rest uh, we can't get out of this mess without trying please tell me it hasn't been an age since we saved we saved last in that cave it would suck a little bit yeah. What a troll game. One silly mistake and you end up very much dead. Even if you're just mopping things. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Do this again. about it can't stand much more than that I 
a little bit more. Yeah, that seemed like a good idea, doesn't it? I think we forgot to cast the uh, action spell now. of difference Hey there, raising the beam, welcome in. Walking over hot lava right now. Sort of thing to do on a Saturday night. Trying to get careful that I don't get caught in here. Actually, pretty easy to buy here. Just found out earlier. Place to be jump from here to here. Best the new we'll tackle all of this eventually. died earlier. Popping this bit here. Around this. Let's uh, finish off this bit now. to cast the protection spell. Yeah, we're here, okay. It 
it's easy to notice when you do, but uh, a gem in the upper left corner turns green to cast the protection from fire. Uh, you will need to have your wits about you to actually see that. Wait into the lava without the protection. Certainly doesn't that you don't have any damage, but it significantly reduces the damage that you do take. Not as much as we can take. Best place to save as well. Good choice, but to head back before continuing. Nice. It's a difficult area over there because uh, you will be able to fewer areas to escape to safety. Oh, just one giant. Pool, lava, and now we're on a bit of jam. Might be able to sidestep. Not dying. A sidestep in the wrong direction and ended up dead. What's the best way to tackle this? Probably just like this. Straight over, and then again. Jump here. On that square, and then jump again there. Action. Downwards, downwards, here. Direction. Rest. Map is starting to take shape here. Yeah, and to tackle what's in this fine little mess in front of us here. The volcano cave. Yeah, at least take a look around and see what it's like.
Not impossible, this guy. Guess we can uh, try this out a little bit. See this out. How nice. At least we don't have to cast a light here. I guess uh, that's because the place is on fire. 90,000 gold, 666 gems. Like that. Six chests, one of them actually had something in it worth robbing. Uh, yeah, fairly valuable, so fine. Guys, different sort of demon. Without cold, good job. By warming him up a little bit. Because when we're at a level like we are now, we uh, sort of have to try to seek out something a little bit more difficult, otherwise won't really gain levels. into the lava seems like a good idea. There's nothing really to be gained by doing so. It could be one of those caves where uh, Actually, move 
the lava. Make mapping a lot easier. Slightly curious as to what is there in front of us. Actually something there. to uh, discover secret walls when you're in a place like this if you don't try at least getting to them another one over there the lava see that they are sort of designed for the jump spell These little platforms are basically meant stepping stones for a jump spell. Level two. Not convinced we're entirely done with level one of this mess, so need that first. Funny that our reward for beating this guy is basically silch. Can't actually tell if there's something there in front of us. We need to find out that this is just a something that leads. We can't possibly tackle all of this at the same time. Have to think some strategy here. First of all, we should probably cast the protection from the cold. Basically, where we were. Okay. Need protection from fire, and we definitely need protection from cold as well. In addition to that, need to lure these guys out here. Can we actually rest? Yeah, we can. Nice. Uh, what we can do... Uh, fireball. There's a multi-monster spell. Cast that. We will do some damage to all three of them. On the cold, that makes a huge amount of difference in terms of amount of damage that we receive. Concentrate on spells that uh, affect 
multiple monsters at the same time. See if we can take these guys down. I actually think it's all that difficult. Particularly not when we're not almost dead from need to walk over a bunch of fire. Eventually went pretty well. Yep. One point here. One of those. Skull of a devil stares at you as though daring you to damage it, destroy. Two hundred and fifty thousand experience. How do we get back? How do we get back? This was easy enough. Okay. How to cast a protection spell? Very difficult. Okay. Basically, up here. Take a lot of damage coming here. Reality be able to rotate. That's the power cure. The teleport. That's the way out. Yeah. So that begs the question. Are there more areas like that?
with the R, we need to finish them off. Nothing there. Nothing there either. It's just a. Is there? Is there actually something there? Something down there, at least. Actually, quite hard to see. I don't think there's actually a lot down there. Oh, pretty much the end. Uh, start this evening. Sort of looks like there's a turn guided from this direction. Find out is to simply walk down there. the dead and walk a little bit roll through the rest of this level if we find more places like that you only need four of them or so to gain a level a level at this point in the game is very valuable <laughs> yeah, sometimes it uh, kind of feels that way, at least, Lizard. Fairly certain that's a dead end. Or there. To check, anyway. Probably not. It's probably not since these guys are there. I'm going to assume that's not the case. See if we can lure them out so we can finish them off down there. Won't be able to um, easy way to do this, I believe. No, no easy way to access this bit. Easiest way is probably to walk in here this way. Walk. Problem with this approach is that uh, we have death when we're facing these guys. But if we can run away a little bit here, possibly we can help us a lot. Yeah, we can. The game allows you to do that. That's usually the strategy to use. Could have done that. 
quite a bit better than we did. Was a dumb approach. Doubt we have enough to take them down at this point. Maybe using something like the moon ray. Uh, pretty high cost. Need one of them at least to die. Preferably two of them. I'd say we're in a safe, yeah, safe zone now. This is at least challenging port right now. Find a way. Roll down there without taking too much damage. Teleport, hold ray, but uh, from the elements. Four squares north. I've actually taken five. Destroy this thing. Probably not going to make it. Okay. Five squares of teleporting it is. Pretty much all we can do. Get one extra square. Probably enough. This is hard to back out from. One dead, I think we'll take that. Because uh, even if you were to use the jump spell, you would need to turn to use it. And, uh, when you turn, you get hit again. I think this is worth it. More on this side, I believe. Potentially could have been something else earlier in the level. Could be one of them.
Check. Nope, I guess that niche. Nothing down there. You couldn't quite see all the distance. There we can. Okay. Basically done with the first floor of this mess. It was worth it going back. We found another one. Another 250,000 experience or so. know what we're dealing with now as well what to look out for we have fairly small level although the area is pretty big I wonder if this is going to be similar to the water level. At some point there is a button to turn off all the lava. There are four buttons there. Let's uh, a save. Starting to fiddle with the buttons. Added the bottom of there. Other one. Until you see which one is this? Is the one that casts the cold? This is the one that casts a fire with a completely new one. One is fire and cold. A mix. How awfully nice of you to have a fireball with One demon, one devil. Uh, the last one, uh, third button we pushed, probably added this platform down here in the back. That's the final button. We have to Pass the protection from fire and cold immediately.
nothing hiding over there is there sort of hard to see around corners over there I think over there okay Now would be a good time to have a good drone in this game. Wonder if you can actually levitate around this. Worth a shot. It is substantially easier. Okay. Regards to fruit appearance, I just think pineapples try too hard. For example, my friend. A lot happening with a pineapple. We're bearing fruit. We're doing okay in terms of. Except for perhaps spell points. Let's try to. If we can. Uh, it's a bit longer, it's fairly expensive to cast the protection spells again and again and again. Doesn't actually take terribly long to map since this is uh and purposes really not those very long levels. And fight a single of these things up here. I wonder why that is. But I figured there were a few. Not a given though. On the ring. Maybe there aren't. If there are, I'm still hoping there is a way to. Uh, Turn the lava into to normal flooring by just flushing the lava out of the cave as we did with the water cave like the game would do when the case of the lava it makes even 
less sense than it does with the water. We're at the level 3 of this cave now. He's our good friend. Waiting for us. Need to rest, but faster protection, fire and cold, and save. On. A little fire pit here. Put myself by the fire. The cold one. Fireball. Go ahead. There are weapons doing all that great right now. Clearly they are probably just hard to hit. Okay, some jumping is required here. Fairly sure that crisscross made this level. Like you go jump. Friends, back. Probably a good point to pass the old race and uh, really sure there is at least one of them behind us. Use the power cure here. Ah, uh, we're unprotected, that's why it's taking us down this much. Bad idea. Cast it, but uh. We need to try to run away. Momentary lack of concentration. Getting to cast a protection spell and we're dead. We're here at the fire pit. After this battle that we rested, I'm 
maybe the uh, protection just timed out. You can sort of see that we were no longer protected. No idea why, really. Maybe it was magically removed. Also possible. Plenty of these guys here, at least. Uh, Ultra spell. Three of them now in session. These guys are a little tougher. So out of spell points, let's rush to regain them at least. Jump. Jump again. Jump again. Again. Map looks weird. There's a large party of them over there. Get at least four of them now, just by the sound. The sound at this point of the game is actually fairly important. Sort of need to hear how many of them there are. Basically, out of spell points here. Quite a few left here. Of course, have the option of being the cleric as well. Alcaster. The mix is one demon and one devil. There are actually two of them. Maybe they can just cast both. One behind them as well. Down they went. 
Rest. Nice of scene to wish us a nice little rest. Well, guy. Local the music. Music of the game does not loop. Uh, been in the same place for a bit. Uh, just stops playing. Turn it off and on. To, uh, make it start up again. This could have just been one level, it's a really a lot of just walking around. No obvious reason. Seems we are in the Shangri La. In hell are we? And I mean that quite literally. Let's penetrate the prankster. While the intent inspection your inspection you're wearing is being broadcast to millions from the hidden camera in your monitor. Actually streaming this you US that of a million viewers I have like ten, so there are nine hundred and ninety thousand nine hundred and ninety off. Happen, I can't. This is actually a real temple. This is an actually this is actually a real city up here in the middle of Just a torch. Looks very expensive. <coughs> An education it says. Fine. Teach you everything for a hundred thousand gold. Interesting. Basically, learn every single skill in the game for a hundred thousand. That's still six hundred k. Everyone is a lot of money in this game. At least we've earned very little. Suffered magical agent that druids can help you visit the truth of summer first. Yeah, we know this already. Only one sword can slay Lord Seen, it lies in the ruins of the dungeons around the new castle. We know this as well. I lost the password. You already have the password too. Public library. Why is it that I can't steal these candlesticks? They look pretty nice. This is a guild. Some useful spells to be gained here. Arm and hammer is this the smithy. Oh, 
quickly. Yes, it is. This does Smithy. Okay, I'm so. Fixing to be done here. Usually useless to drink from the well and told you about build everything in the town twice. This is this welcome door set here. Folks, look like you want membership in the Shangri-La Wizard Guild, or put your name on the list. Brunhilda the Guildmaster. The membership. Oh, nice. Evan Sanadu. Moonsful Alliance, where you're able to visit the dark side. Purchase the dungeon, you have no need for mega credits. Thank you, La welcomes you. I hear the secret password to Newcastle Dungeon is laboratory, not much of a secret if you ask me. We have that. Forty days for hundred gold. Awful nice. Let's have some rumors. Evil is not good, really. Some monsters hate certain types of characters. Heroes can be used to travel to dark side when the moons are aligned. Okay, so uh, once we've defeated scene we can basically teleport all over the place. Search the tapestries and Tarsus Tower for secret buttons, we know this. Use teleport carefully inside of towers and castles. This as well. Each party member can have a return location for the road speak and spell. We know this. Find one of your characters Lloyd speak and set the space in front of a mirror for easy access to the rest of the world. Yeah. Makes sense. She's decently well in doubt. To leave Castle Burlock after robbing it without going down the stairs, the gods may not look for you on the lower levels. Functions, two of the towers of soften swings and all the pyramids. Cannot be entered without a visit to the dark side, okay? Okay. 
it's pretty simple. We know which dungeon it is. We know which two towers there are. We know which pyramid it is. But we can't do that without visiting the dark side. Alos Lava Rock lies due south of the entrance to the volcano cave. Okay. Machines at the corners of the world are useless until you visit the dark side. Touch the ground below the clouds. The gems after you've made thunder. That is interesting. The Gono skull lies in area D4 near the edge of the swamp. I think we already found that. The Garap of Imagining is in the northern hills at the east edge of the desert. Found that as well. Be sure to destroy all the machines in Lord Sin's castle to prevent them from making more monsters. Hi, mom and dad. The full circle. Lots and lots of rumors here. Yeah, this is a highly useful place. I wonder why it's not in the town portal spell. Which it's not. Uh, we know it's Shangri-La, so we can basically teleport to it at any time. Yeah, it is a secret place, for sure. Lots of things to do here. First real town that we've found in ages. Lord Scene already has the sixth mirror. can bite us. Okay. Pretty much done with this. Save. Check out what this well does. Check if it will be well if we drink from the well. Plus one level. Take a level, we gained 500,000 experience. Where did we end up now? Castle Alvar Dungeon. Is that the other way to Shangri-La? Yeah, it is. There are two ways to access this. ready for this castle quite yet the other uh, half of the game so there are two ways to get there this is 
easy way to bottle ourselves. Don't actually have to walk all the way back through the mess or just uh, bottle ourselves out of this mess. What we needed was really the uh, password. Yeah, it is. It, you could see it by the end game screen. Laboratory. Welcome to the dungeon. Got modern games. Or was that the jungle? I forget. Puzzle to solve. One more thing of the outside that be completed that leaves the the dragon cave. The possibly one other thing, some sort of potion here. Let's uh, save before. Not good for us. You can be absolutely sure that uh, no way of knowing what this does. Good chance one of them not poisonous. Uh, which one it is is impossible to know. Also a good chance that none of them are anything but poison. That's just the way this game operates. Out of potion of the gods. Made by the beef, my brothers. Okay, this grate is where we go next. Great grate, two grates, in fact. Oh, great, they made it twice. decoration here just double checking there's nothing hidden in any of it we'll take any treasure we can find actually still relatively poor we have something like a quarter of a million or so in gold really or not all that much very few gems as well Something like 7,000. Uh, at one point in Might and Magic 3 we had an embarrassment of riches but uh, leveled up very quickly and eventually we ran out of, out of money leveling up. Most of amusing.
And the Shangri-La is then probably like the uh, pyramid in game number three. You, uh, if you hadn't figured out the puzzles when you got to the pyramid, most of them were solved by just reading the inscriptions there. The answers to pretty much every riddle in the game. At least all of the tougher ones. Sort of a way to make sure that uh, you had a way to proceed. And a way to finish most of the puzzles. Poisonous oceans are rather annoying. Ocean of the Gods. Assume therefore that this one is not, so you never know. It is. In fact, not. It's poisonous. Okay. Uh, this can't possibly be it though, so the rest of this mess. Items. Experimental scene, player sword is yours. That's nice. Nice things laying around here. Okay, that makes the map, I guess. Not too long, pretty easy to do. about training actually I think we can actually train okay reach the end of what can be trained here they hope is at uh, He's gained a lot of levels. Yes, it's the point where we uh, we save. I think I bought some food over at Shangri-La. I could buy like 50 days for, for 100 gold or whatever. We have plenty of food. 39 days worth of food or pittance. Yeah, I'll uh, wait for someone to raid. Join us on the raid if you want, Lisa, but uh, otherwise, thanks for coming, man. 
Creep wow. She be on here. Way out. Who's on? Sala is still on, but I'm fairly certain he's uh, wrapping up for the night. I might head over to Game Trucks, he's a team member. Actually, Yeah, it was pretty extended. I wanted to get something done. Well, uh, all right, Matrix Light streamer. That over his way. In Dark Souls 3. Nice little game. Joke guy, easy to listen to. Thanks for coming, guys. Always. Thanks for the bits again, 48k RAM. And a reset retro pointer. Uh, potentially see you here tomorrow. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a trail at Kronto stream tomorrow at 2200. Make up for the one that we lost on Friday. So potentially see you tomorrow for some of that. And then later, you sleep well. Have a good rest of the night.